everyone, I'm Yiru from Amiru Tennis. Okay, so today I started with English and likely every time I'm speaking in Korean because today contents are gonna talk about tennis scene in Singapore, how you can start with the tennis, uh, who you can hit with, where to play, and how to find a court in Singapore. So let's start. You you plan to come to Singapore, you're like me, are quite crazy and quite into it. Obviously, the first question your mind is will be how can I find a player to play with me? Nowadays, uh, all those people having a handphone and then have access to applications, right? I recommend uh, using an application called Lobo. It's actually developed by um, Singaporean. I tried to look for some flexibility around it. That is where I find this application. Um, basically, this is Lobo. It's a free um, pre of charge. It's just downloaded from the App Store, install it, and then you can do the self assessment. So there's a number of questions will be pops up. Then how you use your forehand, how's your backhand, how's your body skill, how you can do the games. It, it gives you the level of the tennis that you play. Remember, this is self assessment. There will be no coach involved. You can try to think about how they are dividing the level. My self is self assessed by 3.0. Once you've done it, you can start navigate through. Let me go to the Robo app, how it works. This is the Robo app. So normally what I'm doing is the uh, activities, showing up some available activities in the Robo app. Uh, badminton, tennis, or basketball. So you can see the various activities over there, even gym. So I'm gonna build it with the tennis, done. And then you can do some timing filter as well, but normally I'm just going through with the available activities. Basically what you can do, just look for the um, sub, subject, um, how many people they're hiring, and then how much the cost that you need to pay for as well. Prendering rallies, so you just do some rallies, and then you also have some singles. So if I can show you a bit of such a... So for example... This is a social game that this host is uh, wanna have it. And then he looking for a player's level of 2.4 to 7. Want to have a beginner or the who having a very high level like a 7. Doesn't matter. I think he just want to have some people to hit and enjoy the game. So number of the people he wants to have it is like a 5. He himself is like 3.5 level. Yeah, quite similar to me. And you can interact it between the lower apps. So you can message around so you don't need to disclose your handphone number. The game in the condominium which having a tennis facility looks like a free so that there's no cost involved here but when the cost is involved um, people were indicating how much they need to pay for it per player. So next thing that you want to tackle Lucas is actually the group. You don't have much of the group to play. Look for the group, go down and then see which tennis club you can join. And one more thing I want to share is a venue. So this one it will give you a bit of idea about the where is the court. So so that is here. Just looking at this is a public court. It's supposed to be show you the the tennis court nearby, and it show me all those selling court now. Okay, never mind. You can just figure out with the navigating through. It seems to uh, uh, support it to other South Asia countries as well. I never try in other other countries. So someone in South Asia country who have access to global apps. Please leave a comment how it works there, how it works, how it's very active like Singapore, how it works there, right? Yeah, I hope that you, you love my video today because I know it's kind of very difficult to find a place and, and not everyone play tennis anyway. So hope that it's really helped you and then if helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and then see you again.